Okay, so we are recording already. And thank you very much for being here, for being on time to the ones that came on time, right? Um, this is the conference number five, okay? So we're starting right now. And before starting with the class, I have to say something, okay? Okay, for the ones who are not here, for the ones who are coming late, okay, I have to say something that's very important, okay? And that is, okay, if you're not coming to the video conference, you have to tell me why. You have to send me a message on WhatsApp and say, hey, Lick, you know, I cannot be there because I have to do this thing that is very important. And I, well, I cannot be there, right? So you have to tell me. If you don't tell me, there is no way for me to know what happened, okay? So I'm going to consider your attendance to the video conference on the grade that I will assign to you, okay? I will consider that because um, I, I know that many of you are not here at the video conference because you don't want to, because, yeah? Oswaldo? Oswaldo, you gotta say something? Do you want to say something? Okay, no. Bueno, uh, so I was saying, that if you are not coming to the video conference on time, it's because you don't want to. If you don't tell me, I will assume that you don't want to attend the video conference, okay? That's what I assume as a teacher. Now, if you tell me I have to do this thing that is very important for me and for my family, I mean, I, I, I understand that, okay? I understand that, but you have to tell me. You have to tell me, okay? You have to let me know. I want you, I want you to... I want you to be clear on that, okay? I want you to be clear on that. So let me see here. Uh, no teacher, sorry. Okay, Osvaldo, I understand, don't worry. So, well, that's what I wanted to say about being on time in the video conference. And right now I will share the, the content for today's presentation, okay? I hope you're doing okay. Uh, give me just one sec here. Today's video conference is going to be um, very, how can I say? It's not going to be that long, okay? It's going to be something really short because I'm explaining something you already know, okay? I'm explaining, I'm just going a little bit deeper, okay? Uh, first of all, and I want to ask you, how is your day going, okay? How is your day going? Can you answer that question on the chat, please? I will read all your answers. Answer the question, how is your day going? How is your day going, okay? On the chat. How is your day going, okay? Answer that question on the chat, please. Everybody, everyone. Hmm? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pretty good. A really nice, sir, said Salaya. Uh, Milka said, good. Milena said, I'm, I'm pretty good. Marta, a busy day. Oh, I understand, Marta. Carolina. Carolina said, very well, thank you. Rachel, good. Gabriela, just a happy face. Jose is going well, mister. Thanks for asking. Felice, good. Uh, who else? Oscar, my day is going good. Everything seems to be fine. Very good. Carla, good. I went to the university today. Diego, sick but good. Uh, I hope you get well soon, Diego, okay? Enrique, so far so busy. Uh, let me see. Julissa, great. Franklin, my day is going very great. Very good. Allison said good. Merlin said good. Okay. Very nice. I mean, I'm happy. Allison and yours. Well, my day was kind of busy in the morning. I saw a friend that I have a long time not seeing. Okay. And well, we were just talking about, about his life, about my life. And I mean, it was busy, but it was nice, okay? So right now I'm just here, right? And I'm gonna teach you, 
that's my day. <laughs> okay, let, let's see. We're going to start right now with the class. And today we're going to be talking about uh, how to make an essay outline, okay? An essay outline. So here is the topic, essay outline, and here is the course code, which is the same, and here are the contents. We got introduction. We're going to talk again about the about three paragraphs, about the three paragraphs, and we're going to include the conclusion as well. And we are going to talk about how to choose an essay topic. Okay, that's the most important part of this lesson. What is an outline? Okay, what is an outline? Is the question. Can somebody tell me what is an outline? Put it on the chat, please. What is an outline? Answer that question on the chat. What's an outline? What's an outline? Hmm? Go to the chat section and answer my question, please. What is an outline? Ladies and gentlemen, waiting for you. I want you to tell, okay, it's like a directory, it's like Allison, Gabriela, outline is the way we plan to write an essay. Very good, Gabriela, good answer. Uh, a guy, let's see here, Carla said, a guy or principal thinks about a topic. Very good. Uh, let me see, somebody has the microphone on. Please turn the microphone off. If you are not going to say something, please turn it off. Okay, thank you. So let me see here. Okay, Gabriela said outline is the way we plan to write something. Carla, a guide of principle, teens about a topic, ratio, an outline for me is a guide that we take out to be able to create either essays or other writings. It is like a draft to be able to create an essay. Very good, it is like a draft, excellent. Enrique, it is a way to show how our information is organized in a document. Very good, Enrique. Milena, is the way how to plan in the structure of your essay. Very good, Milena. Nicole, an outline is used to organize written ideas about any topic. Very good, Nicole. That's a good answer as well. Okay, so basically, an outline is the way we organize the ideas in order to write the essay. That's my dog, that's my dog, <laughs> okay? So it's the way you organize your ideas so that you can write your essay later on, okay? That's an outline. So the organization of the ideas, okay? Now, now that you know or that you have an idea of, about what is an outline, <laughs> Carla's laughing because my dog is barking. <laughs> okay, there we go. So we are going to move on to the introduction, okay? And the introduction, what are we gonna do, right? What are we gonna do? First, we're going to capture readers' interest, okay? So what you write, in the introduction must be very interesting for the reader, okay? That must be something that interests the person who is reading to continue reading, okay? Now, the second part right there says, build case through logic, okay? So you have to be logical when writing the introduction, right? You have to be logical and you have to make it interesting. And the third step is topic sentence test statement, okay? So now you're writing an outline. So you are, no, you are not going to write the full introduction. You are just going to write like a topic sentence or a test statement, right? So you are not going to write everything yet. No yet, okay? Just the main idea about your introduction so that it, can capture the reader's attention, okay? The reader's interest, okay? That's it. Now, we got the first main point, 
what the first main point and it says it is the strongest okay this is the first paragraph first paragraph uh, i want to say something uh first main point is the strongest right so we have three three supporting ideas okay so supporting ideas about the first main point okay we got three supporting ideas got a supporting idea number one supporting idea number two and supporting idea number three and we give examples about the supporting ideas okay we have to give examples about the supporting ideas now in the second main point which is going to be the second strongest okay it's going to be the second point the second strongest we are going to add as well three supporting details and we're going to give examples about those details now in the third main point which is going to be the weakest obviously we add as well three supporting ideas and we give examples about those supporting ideas now the conclusion what are we going to do here and the conclusion well we are going to restate the topic so we are going to mention again the topic about what we're talking on the essay, okay? About what we're talking about on the essay. Now, then we are going to summarize the three main points, okay? Remember that we can add to the introduction three main points, okay? So we are going to summarize the three main points or the three paragraph, okay? Now, revise revise the information, revise introduction, or tie all ideas together, okay? Tie all the ideas together, okay? So you are going to put the, idea, the ideas in a logical order, okay? Logical order, that's what we're gonna do. Now, um, just to give you an idea about what's an outline, an outline is what you did in week number four okay it's what you did so let me just share something here with you okay i'm gonna stop sharing this and i'm gonna share something else here da -da 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 -da. give me just one sec here i'm going to week number four and I'm opening something here Give me just one moment. Give me a moment. I'm sharing that with you right now. Where is it? Okay. Just one sec. Okay. It is right here. Okay, can you take, if you take a look to this document, the one that I have here now, okay? You can see here, this is the introduction, right? This is the, the, the last homework that you, were, that you were doing, right? In the previous week. So this is the introduction. And this is the sentence, or the, the main thesis, right? The main idea for the introduction. Malaria is an infectious disease caused by parasites that are transmitted to people through female anophiles, mosquitoes, okay? So that is like the introduction. That is the main idea for the introduction. We're trying to get the reader's attention by writing that, okay? Okay, malaria is an infectious disease caused by parasites that are transmitted to people. So if I'm interested in reading about malaria, this is going to be interesting for me, okay? Now, the paragraph one. In the paragraph one, we got the main idea. The main idea is this that I got right here. There are multiple drugs available to treat malaria, and many of them work well and save life, okay? That is the main idea about the first paragraph, okay? That is the main idea about the first paragraph. 
Now I, I got three supporting details. I got supporting detail number one, supporting detail number two, and supporting detail number three, which is supporting detail number one. A major program to combat malaria was WHO's Global Mal Malaria Eradication Program. That is my first detail, okay? Now I got support number two. The program focused mainly on vector control, okay? That is supporting detail number two. And supporting detail number three, in 1969, WHO was forced to admit that the program had not succeeded in eradicating malaria, okay? So basically I got my three supporting details and with this information, with this information here, I'm going to create, I'm going to write a paragraph, okay? Now this is like the guide in order to write my essay. This is the guide, okay? These are the ideas that I got in order to write my essay. Now, I do the same in the second paragraph, right? I do the same here in the second paragraph, right? I got my main idea, which is this one, and I got the three supporting details or supporting ideas. Now, I got the main idea in the paragraph three, which is this <clears throat> one, and I got the three supporting details as well in, in the paragraph number four. Please turn on the microphone just now. Okay, I got the three supporting details right here. And for the conclusion, I got like a statement or I, I'm mentioning the main topic again. I said, reduc reducing the number of people who contract malaria will also reduce poverty levels in Africa significantly thus providing other aspects of society like education levels and, e and the economy, okay? So that is like the conclusion. I'm concluding that about my essay, okay? That is like the conclusion. Now, this that I got here and what you did the last time, this says this is an essay outline, okay? This is an essay outline. What you got on your screen right now is an essay outline, okay? And this is what you are going to do. That is what you are going to do, okay? Let me just share again the presentation. Where is, okay, it's right here. Now I got this here. How to choose an essay topic. Right? How to choose an essay topic. This is something that's very important. You know, it's not like uh, if I say I'm going to talk about beverages, okay, beverage. It's not like that. Or I'm going to talk about the environment. Okay, if I say something like my essay is going to be about the environment, right? That is something very, very wide. That is something too too wide, okay, too wide. So there is a lot of information about the environment, okay, a lot of information. I'm not going to cover everything in just an essay, okay, because an essay is short. So I'm not going to cover everything about the environment. So I have to choose a topic which is something as specific, okay, something very specific. Okay, something that I can cover with a short writing. Okay, so now I got three steps in order to choose an essay topic. Okay, it says step number one. Well, can somebody help me out reading this uh, slide, please? Volunteers. May I? Yeah, you can. Okay. How to choose an essay topic. Step one, choose a topic you fully understand. Mm -hmm. You will need to know a process or, co or concept well enough to explain how it works from beginning to end or investigate. Very good, Caroline. Okay, so Caroline said, 
you should understand the topic, okay? So the topic or the, the, the main thing that you are going to be talking about in your essay, you should know, you should understand the topic, okay? So you should know a little bit about it, okay? It should be something you know already. You have some information about it, okay? So if you know the process, you will explain the process, okay? So that's, that's the idea. If that is something that you already know, so you will, you will already have the information that you will write on your essay, okay? You already have the information. Now, if you don't know, you can investigate, okay? If you don't know, you can choose a topic which you don't know about, but you have to investigate information. Once you uh, got the information in your mind, you can start writing an essay about it, okay? You're gonna start writing the essay. Now, that is the first step. This is the step number two. Can somebody help me out with this slide? Mm -hmm. I... Yes, your mother, go ahead. Uh, step two, be specific. You could choose a topic like how to rebuild and- Engine. Engine, but that is, a huge process that will take a long time to write. Instead, choose a small discrete process like how to make cheese. Good. This is just in, intricate uh -huh. enough to be interesting, but not so long you can't finish it. Thank you, Xiomara. Okay, right here, what I'm saying on this slide is, okay, if you choose a topic like how to rebuild an engine, that is something huge, okay? That is something huge, okay? The process will take a long time to write, okay? That a lot of information there. So what you should do is that you should choose a small topic okay a small topic okay for example how to create how to make cheese how to make cheese that is a short process okay so you can explain that okay if you choose a topic which is huge and there is a lot of information you will need a long time to write about it select a short topic something that you can explain in a very short way so you can explain that in just one essay okay it says this is just intricate enough to be interesting but not so long you can finish it okay so this is a topic shouldn't be so long that you can't finish it okay that you can't finish it so choose something which is short right something short now the third step let me give you the third step to write an essay topic. Okay, can somebody help me out here, Allison, please? Okay, uh, how to choose an essay topic, step three, gather information. Make sure you have concrete details that support the information in your essay. Very good, Allison, thank you. Okay, so Allison said, Gather information, okay? So investigate, in other words, okay? Make sure you have concrete details that support the information in your essay. So make sure the details that you are going to include in your essay topic are going to be covered, okay? The details that you are going to include in your essay topic are going to be covered. Uh, give me just one sec, what happened here? Okay, give me just one moment, something happened here. Okay, you got it. Okay, so we are there again. As I was saying, make sure it is something interesting, okay? Make sure it is something interesting. I got one example here, okay? And let me see here, I'm gonna make myself a small, okay. There we go. I got this example here. Take a look to the essay topic 
in here, okay? I want you to take a look to the essay topic in here. Oh, okay, right here. So if you see the topic, why should a school, why, why should, I'm sorry, why school years should be shorter? Why school years should be shorter? So that is something that you don't need a lot of information to explain that, right? Why should school years, why should school years, well, I'm sorry, why school years should be shorter, <laughs> okay? So that is something that you can cover in just a single essay, right? In a five paragraph essay, five paragraph only. It's a very short topic. And I start with the thesis right here. This is like the introduction, okay? This is thesis, is, is the introduction. And it says, the school year is too long. Well, can somebody help me out read the thesis, please? Mm, me? Okay, Mika, go ahead. Topic, why school year should be shorter? Introduction, thesis. The school year is too long and should be shortened to benefit the students and teachers, save districts money and improve test scores and academic results. Other countries have shorter school years and achieve better results. All Excellent. Excellent, Mika. That's it. Excellent. Okay. Okay. So if you see, that is the introduction. That is the thesis statement for the introduction. It's not the, 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 the complete introduction, right? It's just a thesis statement for the introduction, the idea for the introduction, right? And that is something which is interesting and that calls the reader's attention, yeah? You can get the reader's attention. Now, we start with uh, the body paragraph number one, which is this one right here. And I got the topic sentence and I got two details right there. In this one, I got two details, but you are going to write three, okay? You are going to write three in each paragraph. Uh, can somebody help me out read this body paragraph number one? I can. Go ahead, Cabo. Okay, body paragraph one. Topic sentence. A shower school year will benefit students and teachers by of detail. Students and teachers will be able to spend more time uh, with uh, their families, detail two, uh, teacher will be refer refreshed and rejuvenate, reju rejuvenate and uh -huh. able to eat more effectively. Very good, Gabo, excellent, excellent. Okay, if you see, I got the topic sentence, okay? This is the main idea that I'm going to be talking about in the paragraph number one, okay? And I got two supporting details. These supporting details are attached to the main idea, okay? So I'm going to talk about, it says, the topic sentence, a shorter school year will benefit students and teachers by giving them more time off, okay? So the benefit is more time off. And I got my first detail. If students and teachers will be able to spend more time with their families. If you see, I'm talking that I'm going to give my students more time off. And the first detail is that they can use the time off to spend more time with their families, okay? Everything is related, okay? Everything is related. I want you to understand that. Everything is related. Detail number two says, teachers will be refreshed and rejuvenated and able to teach more effectively. So what happened? Teachers are going to have more time for them as well. So they will have more time to prepare classes. So the class is going to be better, okay? So if we give more time to our students, what happened? They are going to have more time to spend with their families and teachers are going to have more time to prepare better classes, okay? That is, the first paragraph, okay? That is the first paragraph. And I got the second paragraph. The, the topic sentence for the second paragraph says, a shorter school year will save school districts millions of dollars per year. 
Now, the second topic sentence talks about saving money, okay? That is the main idea, saving money. Now, I got my first detail. Districts who save money on energy costs by keeping school closed longer, okay? I'm talking about if they close the school, they can save money by saving energy. That is my first supporting detail. My second supporting detail. A shorter school year means much lower supply and transportation costs. I'm talking that if the if the year is shorter, I mean, if the school year is shorter, so I'm not going to be wasting in transportation and on supplies, okay? So it means I'm going to save money. Detail number three, well rested and happy students will help improve test scores, okay? If the students rest, they are going to improve the grades, the scores they get in the exams or evaluations, okay? So that's what I want you to understand, okay? This example, everything is related. I'm talking about saving money in paragraph number two. So my supporting details are about saving money as well. I'm talking about give my students time off. So my supporting details talk about what to do in that time that we are giving them off, okay? So everything is related, everything is related. Now, I'm going to jump to the next example. I got another example here, okay? And this is the topic sentence that I got here. It says, why swimming is an ideal sport for kids. You see, I mean, I'm talking about swimming, but I'm not talking about swimming in general, okay? Swimming is a sport which I can say a lot of things about swimming, okay? I can say a lot about swimming, but I'm making it shorter. I'm making it shorter by saying why swimming is an ideal sport for kids. So I'm, what I'm going to focus on is in talking about why it is ideal for kids, okay? I'm not going to talk about swimming in general, only why it is an ideal sport for kids. That's my topic for my essay, okay? That's what I want you to understand. Voy a darle switch a Spanish un ratito, porque esto quiero que quede very, very clear, okay? Very clear. Está el, el tema aquí que dice el topic. Why swimming is an ideal sport for kids. Yo podría hablar acerca de swimming como un deporte, pero si yo hablo de swimming como un deporte, hay demasiada información. Es un tema demasiado general y yo puedo hablar acerca de un montón de cosas uh, about swimming. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que hace aquí la persona que va a escribir el ensayo? Lo hace más corto. ¿Cómo lo hace más corto? Diciendo... ¿Por qué swimming es un deporte ideal para los niños? Ahora, yo no voy a hablar acerca de swimming como un deporte en general, sino que me voy a enfocar en hablar de por qué es ideal para los niños. Ahora sí, ya tengo un tema del que yo puedo hablar en un ensayo, porque lo delimité, lo hice más corto. Voy a hacer una pausa, se nos va a cerrar la sesión, así que ahorita yo la voy a cerrar y entran de nuevo en el mismo link. En, traten de entrar rápido para darle continuidad así rápido, porque ya vamos Solo les digo lo, lo último y ya terminamos la, la sesión, ¿ok? Le voy a cerrar ahorita y vuelven a entrar en el mismo link.